So there's many different ways to get started in learning and practicing live coding, but the most simple way is using things that a lot of people have heard of, like ChatGPT or um, Gemini. And all you have to do is jump into one of these interfaces, and a lot of them have free tiers. So you can just go in here and say, create a business rule script so that when an incident assignment group changes, if the name of the assignment group has the word change in it, it will update the priority field to one. Here, and here's the script. It created the script and it used the proper service now syntax and it knows that dot changes is an actual method. And the whole point of vibe coding is if you come to the script and you realize like, oh, it would also be nice to update the work notes about it and let that add that function to it. And then we can also say, don't do anything though if the priority was already one. And okay, and there's that change. And all right, so you could see that the idea of conversational coding or vibe coding uh, is this idea that we are utilizing AI as if it was an assistant or a partner in crime um, to generate the code that we need. And it works pretty well, but so that's the chat GPT way. And that's a lot of ways that's very accessible for people. But there's another way that I like to do, and I'll show you right now what it looks like. So in ServiceNow, uh, vibe coding, business rule scripts or client side scripts and stuff like that. It's, it's actually pretty straightforward. Um, you just vibe it out and then you copy and paste it into your script field. But there's a more advanced way that I like to do it, especially for service portal widgets because they are notoriously a little bit more complicated. Uh, and when by, what I mean by that is in the widget interface, there is the service script, there's the HTML script, there is CSS, there's client script, and there's a few other things in here, all in one file. So whenever I make a new widget, I like to take that widget, blank as it is, and export it. I right click the header, export this record, and I save that file as is. And then my Vibe coding interface of choice is called Cursor. Here's Cursor. I won't get into all the details about how Cursor works, but here is that exported XML file. And just like I showed you earlier, you just vibe code it through here. And the cool way of doing this is you don't have to copy and paste the service script into the service script field. You don't have to copy and paste the HTML into the HTML field. It's modifying the original XML file for me. So whenever I'm ready, all I have to do is take that XML file, import it back into the widget table on ServiceNow, and it's ready. It's got all of the changes incorporated directly into the XML file, so I don't have to do the copy-pasting stuff.